So here we are, back with episode 3 of my Ref to Unusual series. At the end of the last episode, we ended with 6.55 refined in pure, add a bunch of weapons at the bottom, and that crate. And basically, we're just going to go ahead and try and buy some stuff and sell it on for profit. So let's go. Upon browsing backpack.tf, I came across this listing for a festive sandwich for. 6.22 refined. Now these are worth about 7 ref, so I figure I'm gonna easily be able to make some scrap profit on this. So I went ahead and sent him a trade offer, which he duly accepted, and I got the sandwich. So the sandwich looks pretty cool. I mean, it's got the pretty cool jiggle bones star on it, and it's all brightly coloured, and it looks lovely, and it's really qu actually quite cool to be honest. I thought it, it looks a lot better than it, I would have thought it did anyway. Uh, this is coming from someone who never plays heavy as well, but whatever. It's pretty cool. I like it. So here we are, just re quick selling the festive sandwich for 6.88 refined, which is, you know, a good six scrap profit for us. I just quick sold it to the highest buyer on backpack.tf. Um, he was buying for 6.88, so I sold it onto him and got the profit. So here someone had advertised a dry gulch gulp on backpack.tf for 1.11 refined. I thought I might as well. I can easily make a scrap profit on this, just reselling it, uh, re quick selling it back to the scrap.tf bots because they're all buying for 1.22 refined. So I went ahead, sent him an offer, he accepted, and I got the dry gulch gulp. And here I am just re quick selling the dry gulch gulp for 1.22 refined, which is of course a scrap profit for me. So here I've actually bought some robo parts and also a football helmet. The football helmet was uncraftable so I got him to sell it, sell it to me for 1.22 and also the robo parts I bought all for 2 scrap each. Now the football helmet is only worth about 1.77, originally I advertised that I was buying a craftable one which are worth about 2 ref, so I got him to add, remove 2 scrap from the price he was selling it to me for. So I got it for 1.22 and I figure I'll still be able to make decent profit on it. As for the robo parts, buying them for two scrap each is really good because people are always buying these things for one rack each and they're always a really easy sell because there's always buyers on backpack.tf, you know, just automatically buying these robo parts so it's an easy scrap profit to make on each of them. So I thought I might as well go and do it. So here I was just chilling around in a trade server. Uh, someone really wanted a money furnace, obviously, to complete a fabricator. I said, yeah, sure, I'm selling it for a wreck. And he goes, well, I can offer these two robot torn processors. And of course, they're worth the same as the money furnace. So I'm basically just doubling my profits here. I'm, you know, turning one wreck into two wreck. Easy peasy, just like that. So I went ahead and accepted the offer. So here someone advertised in chat on a trade server that he was... Yeah, he just said, does anyone want this fabricator? And I was just like, yeah, sure, I'll take it. I think this was the same guy that I sold my money furnace to a moment ago. He was just giving this away, so I thought, well, free stuff is better than no stuff. So I took it off his hands, and now I've got it. So here I managed to sell my football helmet on for 1.77 refined, which is actually exactly what the football helmet is worth on backpack.tf. So that was actually really good profit on my part, it's about 5 scrap profit because I got it for 1.22 So I was really happy with this trade Here I'm actually reselling my uh, my other two money furnaces which I bought for a wreck each Just sending it to the highest buyer on backpack.tf Hopefully they will accept, which they should do because I believe it's a bot But we'll see, just send them an offer Here someone sent me an offer for a Texas 10 gallon which is worth about 2 ref for 1.44 ref. Now this hat is a robo hat and it's kind of ugly so I thought well, I'm probably just going to end up really quick selling it for a scrap or two more. There are buyers for 1.55 on scrap.tf but you know we'll see if we can get any sort of profit out of it at all. You know only time will tell. I'll list it up for two ref and see what happens. Uh, here is just a confirmation of all the selling all of my robo parts. I didn't manage to record them all I just kind of went ahead and did them all but this is all like the confirmation I've sold all of my robo parts got a wreck each for all of them and there's also the Texas Ting gallon there as well but that's not important important part is all the robo parts so here's the rest of the metal coming in from my robo parts 
So this is where we're sat at the minute. We've got a few weapons down there. We've got a load of metal. We've got the Texas Tin Gallon that we need to sell. And we've got a load of random parts in the bottom right hand corner. Cool. Corner. So here I'm just quick selling all these weapons that I've found in servers and that. Uh, just selling them on the scrap.tf bot so we can get this get the metal and just get them out of my way basically. Here I advertise my fabricator for 0.05 which is obviously just one craft web. Someone sent me an offer for it, they offered me their Euroternal reward which is you know that's not a problem, that's a sale and that's another weapon for me so you know I've gone from nothing to a weapon which is pretty decent. Here I'm actually, I received an offer for my Texas Tin Gallon which is actually a really friggin awesome uh, overpay uh, they sent one refined impure, the brimstone which is worth about 1.55 refined and two more robo parts which were obviously worth a wreck each so of course I went ahead and accepted that trade as soon as I possibly could because it's you know close enough to two ref profit since I bought the Texas Tin Gallon for 1.44 refined originally so I'm actually gonna go ahead and end the episode there with uh, I'm pretty happy with the uh, progress we've made we've got 10 refined in pure now, we've got the brimstone that we need to sell which is about 1.55 we've got the two robo parts which are, you know, two a wreck each we've also got the eternal reward which is, you know, just a weapon and we've got these random crates as well which we might be able to sell at some point so yeah, all in, pretty good progress and well I hope you did enjoy the episode guys uh, if you did, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more and I will see you in the next one, Tara.